Well, hello there, Legion. While I was out searching for materials off camera, I accidentally hit the button and went to land on a planet. So, we got a side quest. So I'm going to quickly hit the record and start. Let's see. We're going to take Grunt. And Tali. I was trying to get the uh, element zero from the planet, which I've noticed that the side quest stuff are on the planets that have element zero. I didn't mean to land here. It sucks. Look at that little baby thing, guys. Shipping log. Okay, we're good. Clips, huh? What is Eclipse doing on this planet? Grunt looks awesome in that armor. Is this a dead end? Palladium! Well, that just gave me the shivers almost walking off that edge. Have t Do you guys ever get that? When you're playing a video game that has depth perception? Like ledges and, and falls and you're balancing. Do you ever get nervous even though it's a video game? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, fly, bonk. Interesting. Okay, we can't go that way. So we gotta go around. Nothing can hurt me! You in your face. Where is it? There we go. It's decrypting. Taking cover. I am Krogan. How? One more. Mind over matter, bullet through the brain. Cover. Hey, you're gonna go fly! Nothing can hurt me! Oh, that's you walk through and serve Too late! Now you're dead! We've been spotted. Nothing can hurt me! Throw your ass away! Decrypting complete. It's going to tell us to go to a different planet. I don't want to go to a different planet yet. That's the last of them. Are you sure? Hey, look, it's Tatooine. I mean, wait, what?
Alright, high five, Legion. We completed that. And since I have, still have like half an episode or more left, we'll go to the other planet that I have marked down and saved that also has a mission on it. I was coming to this planet here to gain the element zero. We'll just come back. Let's see, Chris and Nebula, Lucem System, fourth planet, Tarth. Oh, what? The elusive man wishes to speak to you in a deep briefing. That was quick like a bunny. I didn't expect this. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous. We can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Okay, I guess I'm being forced to go to something. <laughs> I guess we're not going to the other mission. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. seen a ship like this before. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe the missing humans are on it. Unless they're dead. These are the same as the containers on Horizon, but these are empty. Small, like my tank. Bet they begged for mercy.
What happened here? Ew. Lots of dead meat. They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death. Like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Wait for anything to jump out at me, I'm waiting. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Wow. Ooh, I can now use assault rifles? Oh my god. I forgot about that. Heavy ammo, that's always needed. Ooh, element zero, always need that. Oh my god. Hundreds. How many are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. <laughs> it's all slimy. Come in handy. Ooh, yay! Damage protection boost. Bo bust? Boost. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. This is a ship. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. This is the one to destroy the Normandy one. Oh my god. That's big. 
They could take every human in the Terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. There, on the platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. Should be dead collectors. Something's wrong. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collectorship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. It's this a trap. A it's a tarp. I told you. It's always a tarp. Always a tarp. We need a little help here, Edie. I'm having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download before I can override any systems. Then you better get it done fast, Edie. We've got the incoming hostiles. Trouble. Feel the Forty one percent complete. They are vermin. I will show you. The plane combat drone. I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? 
I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. We should have known this would happen. Cerberus can't be trusted. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Run like crazy. I forgot that that gun that I have that destroyed the Thresher Mom in the other episode was also the nuclear. Take the door on your right. Where do I go? Where do I go? This way. Did they die from jumping or something? Oh my god.
I didn't know Tayo was dead. Edie, we got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through firewall 7164. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I no. can. Hey, down there. That where we came in. We must be getting close to the exit. I'll take it.
That was crazy, yo. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> Just double making sure they're dead. And I ran out of ammo with my machine. Good. Oh, good route. Time, Commander. Woo. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody on to the Normandy. Move. Strap in, people. You guys are getting treats. Two uh, two long episodes, one after the other. Nice. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you got a few words for him too. Damn right. I can tell him to stick the cigarette where the sun don't. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trial, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides... I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. 
A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the Collectors through the Relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Yeah, it was crazy, yo. Oh god, I got seven Renegade Plus. Oh, see, I, I always counteract. I don't know. I always counteract somehow. Anyway, Legion, I'll see you in the next episode of Mass Effect 2. High five and fist bumps!